thank you uh, for listening um, this uh, course of quantum mechanics today. Uh, this is the first class, so I have a uh, introduction to the whole course. Uh, one. This is the outline of the whole course. One is introduction. The second is what is the deformations. We'll talk about deformations later. Uh, and what deformations and compatibility equations. And And the third chapter, we will talk about stress and the equi uh, equation of equilibrium. Equations S of equilibrium, OK? Uh, and the fourth chapter, We'll talk about uh, constitutive law. Which is just the stress string relations. Stress string relations. Okay. Uh, and then for the fifth chapter. Uh, what we'll learn is about, uh, let me see, huh? constitutive law, and then, yes, virtual work principle. V-I-R-T-U-A-L, virtual work principle, virtual work or virtual work principle. Uh, and finite element formulations. Element. Formulation, okay? Uh, this is the whole, uh, uh, all the material we'll talk about uh, this semester. Uh, let me uh, explain uh, for a little bit about the structure of this, uh, the relations between uh, these subjects. See here, we first talk about the deformations. See, you have a material, you deform, so we have deformations. And then we have the strain uh, to, to reflect uh, how large it did deform and how it deform in what pattern, like shear deformation or normal de deformations, uh, such and such. So all about this is deformation. And then uh, we want to talk about the stress uh, which caused the deformations. Okay, And then we talk about the relation between the stress chain. What is the final part? The final part is, um, uh, is the uh, formulation of final element. See, uh, all this stuff, uh, deformations, stress, and stressing, uh, they are all theories. If you want to apply this uh, theory to the real world, you need to have a, a pedical numerical method. So nowadays, final element uh, formulation is a very uh, popular uh, numerical uh, method today. So uh, uh, we want to uh, put all this uh, theoretical uh, stuff into a pedicle numerical methods. And so after this master, uh, after you have learned all this material, at least you, you understand how to apply these theories to, uh, to calculate uh, pedicle problems, OK? Uh, this is my goal, OK? Uh, it it depends on how, how, uh, how good you, you, uh, you, you can learn about this. If you learn it very well, and then you will understand how these uh, theories can apply to the pedicle problem by numerical methods, okay?